Good morning, sunshine. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to green and clean beauty, and I'm back with a quick product review slash get ready with me. I will be talking all about the Crunchy Mascara. Just saying the brand name always cracks me up. I bought a lot of Crunchy products and I tried a bunch of them out. I've really liked what I've tried so far, so I'm wondering if the mascara is going to stand up to everything else I have tried from the line. I'm feeling positive, I'm feeling caffeinated, Let's give this a shot. And here With we heads go. up, if you're going from toxic to non-toxic and have no clue where to start, check out my free green beauty guide back on the website. It's the one pager I wish I had when I first started out. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another one. So I have pretty much everything on my face I'm getting ready and I'm actually getting ready. Some people do get ready with me and then take the makeup off, which I have nothing against, but this is me actually getting ready in the morning, hence the coffee, yada yada yada. So I have this mascara and I'm just gonna give you the quick rundown called the Lashes for Days Mascara. All day staying power is one of the call outs here. It is gluten-free, Leaping Bunny certified, consciously packaged, which they do with all of their products and I love that. Toxin-free, the formula is pretty great. It is $28 for this tube of mascara. Kind of right in the middle of pricing. I've seen, you know, 38, 25, 14, whatever. 28 bucks for this. I have it in black. Now I'm going to give it a try on my lashes and go through the Style Shaker scorecard. And I'm going to use a primer because really nothing looks good without a primer on my lashes. So I want to give it kind of a chance. So I'm using the Jane Iredale Pure Lash Lash Primer. If you've watched anything I do, then you've already seen this. I'm gonna put this on. I have a little bit of eyeliner on, so you should still see a difference when I apply the mascara, even though there's liner. It's also really not that thick, so it doesn't look too misleading, hopefully. Other eye, here we go. Primer on, check. Good, I use counterculture coffee. Have you guys heard of it? Based out of North Carolina. So good, not sponsored, just saying. Okay, so first things first. Uh, the wand. It is a brush wand. It's not a plastic wand. I would say it's medium bristle, though not like crazy ton of bristles. I like it. So far, so good. I usually have better performance out of wands like this. All right, here we go. We're going in. Oh. Okay, it's a little lower impact than I would like. Ooh, that's a nice way of saying it. Going in for another layer. Okay. It is going on smoothly, not really clumping. Finding that I have to go over and over and over to get any type of volume. I'm also not seeing a lot of lengthening happening. I really don't feel like it's a high impact mascara so far. Okay, it's on that lash. Woke it up a bit. Let's try the other lash, shall we? Okay. I can see the difference. It's subtle, but I can certainly tell that I'm wearing mascara now. I might just try and do one more layer, see if it gets a little clumpy. Just put it to the test, girl. Uh, not like super buildable. Starting to clump up a bit. I gave it a little drying time too. Okay, so this is multiplying a bit more. Like my fifth coat though, so. Mm. The lashes are not sticking together. They're also just, it's, it's not wowing me off the bat. Overall, one of the questions on the scorecard is, does it look natural? I'm actually gonna continue the rest of my face, so bear with me. Infomercial voice. So, this is the Maka Beat Tinted Moisture Stick. I just use it as a balm really quickly. One of the questions is, does it look natural? So I just mentioned, it does look pretty natural. I'm going in with the Hint Bronzer as I talk to you and finish this look. Does it apply smoothly or does it clump? Right now, it is not clumping. It applied very smoothly, so it gets a pretty good score there. Can you choose your intensity? I had to layer, as you just saw, I just layered a bunch of times. I think that you could do very natural, very light. I don't know a lot of people who want lower impact lashes, but I suppose, you know, they're out there. I'm not one of them, but that's okay. To each other. And does it stay put? So I'm gonna wear this throughout the day and give it a test, and then I will answer that question back on the website so I can let you know whether or not it's flaking. I don't see any flaking right now, by the way. There's no flaking happening at the moment. Definitely a little bit different from some others that I tried. So the Lily Lolo Big Lash, as soon as I swipe it on, it's like, whoa. I think there's a little bit more lengthening there. And then for the Ficlo Vegan Good Lash, which I love, you guys know I love that. That is way bigger into the multiplying of the lashes. The four 
formula, it has little fibers in it, I think. I don't know if that's true, it just looks like it has little fibers in it. So it clumps a little bit easier, so it's a give and take. It's nice so far. It's solid, it's definitely not the worst. Sometimes they go on and it's just, it just feels watery and weird. And she is not failing me, it's just not wowing me at the moment. I'll check back in and I'll give you the final verdict back on the website. Once I have that, I will put the link in this video so you can just click right through there and see. Oh, and then there's one more scorecard question too. I always ask, are they keeping it conscious? Are they cruelty-free, vegan, yada, 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 sustainable packaging, all that stuff. My hair is very fluffy lately. My hair ever get like that? It's just fluffy lately. It's raining. It's probably humid today. I digress. Bring it back. It has conscious packaging. Yes, it is cruelty-free, vegan, produced really, really consciously, and I love the brand for that. For now, this is the middle of the road. I think it will score well on the scorecard. I just know that I have better performing mascaras that I previously mentioned in this video. I would probably go towards as of right now. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go figure out what to do with my hair and then uh, go to work. So there you go. That's it in a nutshell. Final verdict coming to the site ASAP. And I will see y'all right back here real soon. Until then, bye.